Hey, what's up, everybody? Marcos Vegas being joined here with heavyweight contender Mr. Joseph Parker in Las Vegas, who is here to uh, do some press because you have a fight coming up, my man, next yeah, weekend. Yeah, next or weekend. Frisco, Texas. Frisco, Texas. On the undercard of Mike Garcia and Jesse Vargas. So, um, looking forward to it. You know, I haven't been in the ring since last June. And wait, wait, I apologize. I called you contender when you were a world champion. Former, yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay, you know, WBO. I'm still a, con I'm a contender now, yeah. so. That's true. Well, once a champion, always a champion. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Apologize. No, you're okay. That's what happens when you get old. And you get <laughs> flustered and you don't remember stuff. But yes, next fight, Frisco, come up. Mikey Garcia, Jesse Vargas uh, fight. It's been a while. It's been a while. The last time I was in the ring was June, so nearly a year. So I'm excited to be out there and, uh, you know, get a good, have a good fight. <laughs> 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 you know, have a good fight, put on a good performance, and then uh, look at locking in you know, bigger, bigger fights in the future or in the near future. So you were scheduled to have a fight, and then some freakish thing happened. You got this spider bite, or, or what happened? <laughs> no, I, 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 nothing. <laughs> Brady whacked the spider. What? I, um, I listen. I was training in New Zealand, and when I left to come to Vegas for training camp, everything was fine. But when I, I, I had a hole in the leg, my leg, right? You had a hole in your leg. Like a little hole there, like and I thought, okay, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll heal up. And yeah. then slowly, um, probably week four or five, my body just went descended. The energy just sort of zapped out of me. Uh -huh. And I saw the doctor here, and he said that I had a spider bite from New Zealand. So he pulled me out of the fight and said I wasn't fit to fight, yeah. and I wasn't fit to train. Um, so then uh, was, you know, I begged him, please, you know. Is there anything we can do? And he just said, "Sorry, but uh, you know, you're not you're not able to fight." What kind of spider was it? A lot of people said white tail or red back spider. I, yeah. Listen, I didn't even know New Zealand had spiders that do that. <laughs> no idea. But you know, it is what it is. And I, I guess uh, it wasn't the busiest year last year. It was a slow year for us. We had one fight, so that's why I wanted to start early this year, you know, February, and hopefully we can lock in two or three more fights uh, throughout the year. Was it like a pussy like spider bite? No, it was like no, it was like a just a hole in my leg, just a hole, like it, with it, nothing it, in it. Lift the mark, I don't know. Oh, like whoa, a, whoa, there's a scar right there. Yeah, it oh, lifts. Looks even on that scar. That's a gnarly scar. Yeah, that's what it left. Yeah. Eesh. But I listen. I don't. I don't. It, I mean, if it it good, it bit me. But if it, it didn't give me any spider powers or anything, well, I don't feel any different. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I'm healed up now and I can actually fight again. <laughs> you already have powers, bro. You're like a super Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, you've been uh, training and also helping out, not helping out, but watching Tyson Fury train. Or did you help him out? No, I, I was there with, um, you know, watching um, some of his sparring sessions and um, just, you know, there to show my support. Because uh, we're good friends, so. Yeah. Well, you're boxing's best bromance, you and him. <laughs> <laughs> are we? You guys are! You guys are like best friends! Uh, uh, he is one of my closest friends in the, yeah. in the heavyweight division, yeah. How did you guys first meet? Um, I don't know, we just... Uh, and I started off on social media back in 2014, and then uh, when I f fought his cousin um, Huey Fury in Manchester, we f you know we uh, met each other then for the first time, and then from then on we just you know we like to have fun, enjoy ourselves, um, do whatever we do in the ring, but um, you know we catch up and have lunch and dinner, and you know it's, he's a good guy to me, and I really appreciate it. Let me know a little bit about the sparring. Uh, how has it been, and what has he been doing? Uh, he's got you know, many sparring partners, as you already know, with, with a fight this big, you bring in the best that you can find. Uh, from what I've seen, you know, I, I think that he's looking good. Um, he's showing that a lot more aggression, or you know, and he's throwing a lot more punches. So um, the thing I'm looking forward to is looking forward to fight night and to see which fighter has uh, you know improved and, and worked on the weaknesses they've had in the first fight, and, and whoever executes their plan first. I don't know how you live here in Vegas because the allergies are killing me, man. Yeah. They, they, they've been killing me this whole week. Um, like right now, I'm like choking on my like spit. <laughs> um, what, what do you have? No, what are you going to give me? Um, so when he says he's going to be aggressive, come forward and, and fight Wilder up close in range, he's, he wasn't kidding about that. I mean, there's some belief, like if that's what he wants to do, I'm sure that he, him and his team has got a good game plan to do that. But you just have to be wary because of the, the punching power of Wilder. You know, it's dangerous. He's a, he's got a, he's a fighter with the, probably one of the biggest right hands we've seen. And uh, that's why everyone's so interested because it's a fight that no one knows how it's going to end. But you know. I, 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 have, a, I have a feeling that your Fury will win. But, you know, my opinion may be right. My opinion may be wrong. Who knows? We just have to find out on fight night, which is very soon. Do you think he wins by points or do you think he wins by knockout? Uh... Five points. Five points. Fury's, yeah. I mean, Wilder's shown that he's got a great chin. A good chin, actually. Yeah. He's been rocked many times and he's been punched in the chin, you know, on the chin many times and he's shown that he can take a punch. I read a story, and I'm going to bring it up the thing here. I said, and I, I 
I write notes sometimes when I do my interviews and everything to make sure I ask the, the right questions. So I saw a story that you were partying with Floyd yeah, after this party. Listen, but I was partying. No, no, I was partying with uh, Fury. Oh, with Fury. Yeah, not so much partying. It was me. No, I saw a picture of you and Floyd. Fury, me, Taylor. And then we, uh, we went out for, and his bodyguard, and we went out for lunch, yeah. or dinner, we went out for dinner, bought us a steak and everything, and then uh, just relaxed and that, and then we went, took us to the club, and then uh, Floyd was there on the other table, so then we went over and said hi to Floyd, so yeah. it was more of us, you know, it was Fury and uh, myself and the team hanging out, and we saw Floyd in the club. Yeah. How was that? That yeah, was cool. Yeah. I was, you know, I was still sick. I was still sick from the spider bite, yeah. but after seeing them, you know, I'm, I'm a big, um, not only a fan of boxing, but a fan of those you know, what they've achieved in boxing. So it's good to hang out with you know, Fury and and and, um, and Floyd. Did he tell you to go to a girl collection? <laughs> I see he's been promoting that a lot, but no, nah, he I just it's a quick hi and bye, and um, I'm good friends of his security as well. Yeah. So they just you know, hey, what's up? How's it going? Okay, okay. Just you know, a small talk. I heard it's expensive. Is it? Yeah, I've heard. I've never been. Last time. <laughs> I've never been. I just heard it's, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joseph, uh, on a final note, man, uh, you obviously want to get back to title contention. Yeah, this yeah. fight right here is a fight to put you there, to show your skills and, and show the world and remind the world how good you are. Yeah. Ultimately, where do you see yourself ending up with who in terms of challenging for the title? Listen, i got to take care of this guy first next week, and then hopefully everything goes well. I'm looking at fighting. I don't, listen, like I've said it before, I don't care who I fight. If it makes sense and if it's a... Uh, gets me closer to the um, the goal of being champion of the world again or unified champion, I'll fight anyone out there. The what Dylan White, Chisora, there's Pravikin, anyone. I don't care who it is. All right, hey, Joseph, good seeing you, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Joseph Parker here in Las Vegas, Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV.